this tube are using. Well, I'm out here again. I uh, I got a new tablet, so we're gonna try this videotaping on a tablet that you seen in my last video with the Charade 36. The uh, video quality has been going down pretty bad. So, so welcome to the cabin. This cabin's been around now for about 30 years. Used to be a deer stand and. Well, now it's just a, it's a place to go. So anyway, what I'm coming to you today for is, uh, let me get some of this gear off here. It's the same gear you seen last year. It's a you know, leather haversack and water bottle and all that. Okay, here we go. So what I'm coming to you today for is, uh, oh God, maybe it'll be two years this September. I won a giveaway from Widowmaker Knives, and uh, well, when it comes to handmade knives, factory knives, stuff like that, I have my own preferences, and to be honest with you. There's nothing you can do out here with a pocket knife, and a you know an axe, tomahawk, hatchet. Some people will argue that. So be it. That's your opinion, and I'm not going to try to change it. So here's the deal. Eric from Widowmaker Knives had a contest running. I think it was a 500 sub contest. And he makes this, um, he makes a really neat line of, I guess they're called small mini hunters. So he started with a, a test model here, and this is the Bloodline, 01 Bloodline. Now, I won the contest and I didn't realize it, but this is the prototype for that knife. So, let's go over a little bit about it here. You might have seen another review about it. But this is the old one bloodline. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe I can get it in there. There's his logo right there on the knife. And he makes these knives out of files and stuff. He makes folders. He makes, uh, you know, mostly fixed blade, short blade knives. A lot of you saying, okay, well, you know, what do you do with a short blade knife? All right. Well, begin with... Let's just go over specs of the knife real quick in case you forgot. These are my Carta handles. They are gray and white. My denim my Carta handle or burlap my Carta handles. There's two spacer bolsters in here. You can see them. And it does lash pretty much to a, a tree or whatever. Pretty good for you know a jab stick or whatever. The knife itself, even though it is odd shaped like a you know a really short butcher knife. Is really comfortable for doing fine tasks, for doing skinning work. I've been using this knife now for no, no. So he, I won it in September, and I told her to take your time making it. I got it in December of uh, 13. I've been using it a lot. It is a terrific neck knife. I think we got a tick problem. It is a terrific neck knife. It cleans squirrels, it's clean turkeys, it's clean rabbits. I didn't get a deer for a while because, well, game around here is really scarce. I don't know if you can hear that or not, there's a woodpecker, I love that sound. Anyway, this is an 012 steel. It does have a razor sharp edge and it's kept the razor sharp edge, which is something that unfortunately I have to say with a lot of handmade knives I've run into problems with. It's a quarter of an inch thick. And like I said, it is made from an old file. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But you can see the file marks right here. It does come treated, but it doesn't come coated. So if you wanted to put the uh, you know, if you want to take a little bottle of cold bluing and blue the blade, 
that's up to you. I didn't see no sense in it. So that's the knife itself. The sheath that it came in is a nice hard black plastic Tidex, and this is the original wrappings Eric sent me. Now, with these wrappings, it might seem to be wrapped a little bit odd, but if you take these two pieces of, of uh, paracord, it can be worn as a scout carry, or in the bottom there's tie downs, of course. Ran a piece of 36 bank line through it, and now it becomes a neck knife. So this has been going on for about uh, about a year and a half now. The tension on this knife is incredible. Okay. Um, I can't say enough to, and thanks to Eric about this knife. It is, you know, it is a really great piece of machinery here. Uh, let's see what we got here for firewood. Okay, that's a piece of hardened maple. And let's see if we can't. Okay, that's a piece of hardened maple. It's gonna be really tough to baton. for this. As you can see it does do the batani. No damage to the knife whatsoever which I knew that because I've been trying the batoning thing. A lot of you know I don't do the batoning thing, but you know, it seems to be what everybody wants to see. As far as feather sticking is concerned, is kind of bright I do apologize this is maple on feather sticking and it is weathered believe me and like I said in my one video I'm not the best feather sticker in the world it is something you have to practice and I don't do enough practicing. But as far as feather sticking is concerned, as you can see, it will feather stick very nicely. And these are very fine pearls. So yeah, it's the old one bloodline. Now, Eric can be found on Facebook. He also has a YouTube channel. Um, he does a lot of knife making. Like I said, he does do folders. He does do variations of these smaller knives or mini hunters. I think they've got three and a half or four inch blades on them. You can get scales of micarta, different colored micarta, different uh, you know liners in here. I chose not to have uh, you know he wanted to put red liners or white liners. I chose not to have them because they just discolor and this was going to be a woods knife. This was not going to be you know. A fancy piece to hang on the wall. Hey, you got a handmade knife. Well, if you got a handmade knife, congratulations. Use it. In the meantime, I think it might sound a little weird to some people, but I think I'm going to take up that Pathfinder challenge that uh, 
Wyndham Woodcraft and Paul Craven had out. Not just because, you know, it's not that I don't want to learn it or I don't know it. It's just, it's good practice. You'd be surprised at the difference between whether you're out here every day practicing and whether you're not. I haven't had time, obviously, with everybody knows what's went on in the last year. And to be honest with you, I had a couple more deaths through the year, so it's just been, hasn't been fun, let's put it that way. But I'm doing better. So in the future we're going to have some uh, we're going to have some more handmade knives. I was very lucky, honored, and privileged to uh, receive a knife from William Collins. As to, you know, he just gave me one of his handmade knives. I appreciate that, William. Thank you very much. We do have, uh, you know, handmade knives are are great. And unfortunately, I don't use them because they have very sentimental value to me. So, all right. So, Eric, once again, thank you very much. If you're looking for a really great, really great handmade knife to, you know, carry a necker or, you know, this could serve as your main knife even, uh, check out his line of knives. I really like the, the, the clip point mini hunters that he makes. They're... You know, they're not big knives, but boy, they will do the job. Trust me, they've, this knife has skinned squirrels, it's uh, rabbits, turkeys, deer, like I said. Or no, not deer. I haven't got a deer yet with it. But, you know, it's it's done everything. You can see the batoning and everything it does. It's, a, it's the old one bloodline. It's a great little knife, man. Well worth the price. You'll have to call Eric for pricing because the handle scales, you know, the bolsters, all your little options that makes the knife go up or down. So, you know, that, that's just something you'll have to talk to Eric about. But, this is K-Bar user. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hey, please do. You're more than welcome to join me any day. And uh, we'll see you on this next, in the next video. Y'all have a good day now.